Hi friends, thank you for joining me for this weekly pastor's update. Father Jim wrote our bulletin this week and it reads, I just finished switching the electricity in my home to 100% clean energy. And the next car I buy will be an electric vehicle. This is my way of stopping the war in Ukraine and other future wars like it. If the world shifts to renewable energy, we solve two major problems. According to Fahad Manju, first, we save the environment. Second, we remove the threat of dictators like President Putin, who control the supply of fossil fuels. We stop funding his ongoing wars against democracies. Putin can't control sunshine and wind. The roots of climate change and the war in Ukraine are both found in our world's dependence on fossil fuels. Burning these fuels ruins the earth. And Russia sells these resources and uses the money to buy weapons and wage war. If we stop using fossil fuels, we save Mother Earth. And we stop wars by dictators who control these fuels. This is a fossil fuel war and we can end it. We held our Lenten reconciliation service last night. Despite the bitter cold night, we had between in-person and online attendance about 70 people that experienced God's forgiveness. So we're really glad you joined us for this sacrament. The confirmation retreat went well for our teens last Saturday. Daniel Brotman, our music minister, gave our young people a talk about Buddhism which is his religion, and he led them in a Buddhist meditation. I wish I had such an experience when I was his age. Thanks, Daniel, for sharing your spirituality with us. Davis Craig, our operations manager for the past four years, announced last Sunday that he has been accepted into Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Starting this August, he will pursue his master's degree in public policy and management. He will leave a big hole in Spiritus Christi when he leaves us. But thankfully, we'll have him for a couple of months before his departure. So make sure you congratulate him and wish him well. We send condolences to Matt and Jody McGarry on the death of Matt's brother, Michael McGarry. We also extend our sympathy to Colleen Conley on the death of her father in Troy, New York. We're sending our love to you, our prayers to you, and we're thinking of you. We are a little more than halfway through Lent. There is still time to practice our Lenten disciplines, even if we haven't done so, uh, done too well so far. And um, I hope that you will join us this week, uh, Thursday night, for our Young Adult Mass. And Chris Goodwin will be our Thursday night Young Adult Lenten speaker. So we're very excited to welcome him. So hope you'll join us either in person or online this Thursday at 7 o'clock. I love hearing the birds sing when I go out to get the paper in the morning, Father Jim writes. And he wishes you a happy spring. Take care and join me next week for our weekly pastor's update.